Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and here's your Stockwatch list for June 20th, uh, Tuesday. Uh, first off, we'll take a look at the futures for tonight. Currently, uh, the Dow futures are up uh, about eight and a half. The S&P futures are up a half, and the NASDAQ futures are up um, seven currently. Uh, for the calendar tomorrow for Tuesday, June 20th, uh, for earnings, we have um, before the bell, we have SFUN. We also have a home builder LEN, and that's reporting before the bell. Uh, after the bell on uh, Tuesday, we have Adobe, FedEx, uh, Lazy Boy, LZB, and Red Hat, RHT. And those report uh, after the bell tomorrow. Uh, we do have some Fed speak going on tomorrow, but uh, first one up is Stanley Fisher, and I'll be sleeping at 3.15 a.m. Uh, 8.15, uh, Fed speak, we have Eric uh, Rosengern. Uh, next one, uh, we also have uh, Fed speak, Robert Kaplan, speaking at 3 p.m. As far as economic information, uh, 8.30, current account, 8.55 a.m., Red Book. Uh, 4.30 uh, API crude oil. So this is going to be important. 4.30 p.m. API crude oil and then uh, 7.50 uh, Bank of Japan uh, minutes or something like that. All right, so the market's pretty much been in uh, doing a rotation thing. Oh, and before let me before I go into that, let me show you the uh, earnings. Uh, at 8 o'clock, uh, SFUN has a conference call at 8. LEN has a conference call at 11. Uh, See GIGA at 4:30, FDX, FedEx uh, five o'clock, Red Hat five o'clock, and Adobe at five o'clock for their conference calls. Um, so let's we'll just take a quick look at some of the markets. Um, rotation has been going on out of the tech stocks, um, and then into some other you know uh, stocks like the financials and things like that. Uh, we were sh I was showing you yesterday in my videos the SPX. And you see this consolidation we got a nice breakout today and uh, the dow jones made uh, more all-time highs again today uh, xlf let me bring this closer and there we go uh, xlf um, you know is messing with the highs here so it's looking to try to break out of this uh, you know small pennant flag here and trying to push up on the xlf uh, next thing, uh, IBB joined the party today. Nice big candle. Um, Biogen got an upgrade today, and um, I think it was an upgrade just to neutral. And uh, that stock moved up, and then all the biotech stocks uh, pushed up through this uh, uh, 295 spot. The uh, XBI also pushed up, and that's the smaller uh, biotech stocks, and that's pushing up and out on the XBI. So, you know, good to see those stocks participating. Uh, QQQ, oops, sorry, uh, QQQ uh, moved up a bit, uh, but we're still under the 10 SMA, the light blue line here, still under this 10 SMA on the Qs, and uh, but we did hold the 50 SMA, we gapped up, and the 5 EMA, this white dotted line is turning back up, but we want to get back over this uh, 141, 141.50 on the Qs, uh, IWM. Uh, made a nice move today. We're back above, you know, the 10. We're back above the 5 EMA. Uh, I would like to see us get through this uh, 142. IWC uh, also popped today. Uh, we couldn't hold all the gains though on the IWC. This is the micro cap uh, index. And um, so that's kind of a little um, view of the, you know, the markets and what moved. And uh, so we'll go ahead and get right into the stock watch um, list right now. And uh, my first one up, oh, actually, before I do that, I'm sorry, guys. I always do this before I do that. So this will help you. I'm sorry. Uh, some stocks that had news after the bell. We had uh, Tesla had news after the bell. So you see uh, Tesla popped. And the news was uh, Tesla said to close, uh, close to agreeing on uh plant for China production plant, uh, agreeing to on a plan for China production plant, he tried to say. So you see the big pop in uh, Tesla. And you know what, Tesla could come out and say blah, 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 and the stock would go up. So 
minutes, but uh, you know, some news after hours for uh, Tesla. Uh, some top insider purchases after the bell, APB, uh, COTY, NDLS, ALXN, let's just check uh, ALXN, see if that, yeah, that popped up. So uh, CEO purchased uh, 10K at 116.72. Uh, Goldman Sachs CEO was on Kramer's uh, Mad Money show tonight. Uh, for syndicate news, ANTH had news. Uh, ATNX had news after the bell. AVXS uh, proposed public offering. CLVS proposed public offering common stock. CODI pricing 100 million preferred share offering. Um, and then FDUS uh, public offering of common stock. So what's that, uh, one and a half uh, million shares. So that was some of the news that came out after the bell. And we'll just check and see if there was anything else. Uh, uh, LPCN had news after the bell. Okay, and I'll highlight that for you so you can read it. And uh, LPCN, uh, that popped up in the after hours. And HOS got volume into the close on HOS so that was some of the uh, news that came out after the bell and uh, so we'll go ahead and go into the watch list now uh, first one up is going to be this uh, ADMP all right and uh, we had this big push up I was watching this today I did not get a trade in it at all uh, but we pulled back to this 10 uh, SMA the blue line here uh, moving average and uh, we popped off of 450 and we popped up to about, you know closed over five see if there's any kind of continuation move in this name um, or if it sets up intraday this is the one that had the FDA approval for their uh, EpiPen so that's why I'm going to keep this one on watch uh, AIG uh, is you know turning back up it's holding above all the moving averages you know looking for that uh, I would call it you know 64 40 maybe 64 35 is enough to get this one going to try to take out this you know consolidation here and get over uh, 6450 on uh, AIG now the steel names were upgraded today by longbow I think it was longbow and um, so AKS uh, will be on watch uh, almost 26 million shares it did pop but you know it's not a very strong chart but it is kind of turning trying to turn back up uh, it all rests on this infrastructure uh, deal that's going to happen and um, I'll just show you here's the chart this was X right at the open uh, it was just you know got upgraded and it popped and then it gave it you know a lot of it back during the day and uh, AKS pretty much did the same thing uh, they popped right at the open and then they pulled back but AKS came back and uh, you know closed up here near the highs in the after hours so I'll keep that one on watch uh, AMD uh, trying to get back over the 50 SMA trying to get back over the 10 SMA on uh, AMD so we'll see if this will you know recover you know some of the Nvidia pushed back up um, it's holding above the fast moving averages so maybe the semiconductors um, you know, we're going to try to make a comeback here. Uh, AVGR, we talked about this one yesterday on the Stocks to Watch video. Cannot get over this uh, 50 uh, SMA yellow line right here, yellow moving average, and uh, that's at 52 cents. Uh, if it can get over that, say uh, 54 cents, uh, you might get a continuation move in the name. Uh, AXSM, big pop here today, um, half a million shares. So I'll see if this will set up uh, intraday. It closed at 460. So, um, you know, we'll see if this one wants to have any kind of continuation. Would like a pullback first and then maybe a move back up. Uh, BAC, just because we're watching some of the banks. Uh, this one, if it can clear this, you know, say 23, oh, I'm sorry, 2405 or so. Um, you know, maybe we'll get through that 2411. Here's, uh, here's Citigroup. You know, trying to break out above that consolidation. J.P. Morgan, uh, 
breaking out above consolidation. Uh, WFC, I haven't looked at this one in a while, uh, still in consolidation. So BAC, I don't know if this will be the next one to go, but um, you know, if it takes out this 24, you know, we might break out over this consolidation. Uh, CCCR uh, climbing and riding the 5 EMA. I was watching this today and I turned my head for a second. I just couldn't get into the name. Um, light shares. Um, it's moving up, but um, you know I'll have this one on watch. It's kind of extended here, um, so we'll see. Not a favorite. CFMS, uh, nice pop here. Almost a million shares traded in the name. Um, Medical Instruments, and we have a high on the name of 458. So if we can get over that, 460, uh, maybe we'll get a continuation move. Um, there was a big gap down. Um, in the name and now it's starting to turn back up so uh, CYTR uh, nice close at the highs here uh, almost 9 million shares traded but it's one of these stocks that's under a dollar so you know you never can go just by the volume um, 67 cents is the high so I would say if it breaks you know 0.70 uh, maybe we'll get a continuation move um, in the name CYTR um, but as you can see, here's the five minute chart. So, you know, it's not great moves, but it did pop. It closed at the highs, and it is, but it is under $1 name. Uh, DDD. Nice volume today. Nice, uh, we call it a J pattern, right? Or, or you can call it a U shaped pattern, whichever letter of the alphabet you want to call that. Um, so we have 22.34 as the high. Closed at 22.09. So if this can set up uh, intraday, maybe we get a continuation move in the name. Maybe 22, you know, 20 or 22.25 might be enough to uh, get this one to continue higher. Uh, ENPH had news after the bell. Um, here's the pop in the name. Got as high as a dollar five. Pulled back, trying to hold, you know, 90 cents. So uh, this is another one of those under a dollar uh, names. So we'll keep this one on watch uh, for tomorrow, ENPH. Uh, HOS, I had mentioned this one previous, and uh, now we're looking to take out $3. We're back over uh, the 50 SMA. And uh, rice was taken out was by EQT today, was bought out. So that one popped. And uh, so I don't know if there's chatter around this name, but um, you know, started to come back towards the close. Here's the 15 minute chart and here's the close on uh, HOS. So uh, this one, you know, might be interesting for uh, tomorrow. Uh, Juno, Juno popping up again. Um, this one is like whack-a-mole though. Every time it pops, it drops, pops, drops. Uh, but you know, maybe this time it can get going. Uh, 1.6 million shares traded. Uh, has a high of 24.36, so I'm looking for that high, you know, 24.40 to, you know, be taken out. We are above the fast moving averages, which are trying to get above and hold above the 50 SMA on JUNO. But the biotechs were very strong today, so, um, you know, I guess maybe the Juno got dragged along with the strength, but we'll see if it can do something tomorrow. Uh, LC, uh, you know, it's trying to break out of this consolidation. And uh, we have a high today of 584, closed at 578. So maybe, you know, 590 might get us that breakthrough six. 8.8 uh, .8 million shares traded on the main. So, you know, if it can take out, you know, that 590 spot, if you want to try it a little bit earlier than that, um, you know, if you can get over 585 or so. Uh, you know, you might get, uh, you know, a move in this LC name. And it is a financial services company. Uh, LPCN, like we said, this one had news after the bell. So it popped. Um, it's holding most of the gains. So um, I don't know if this is going to, you know, would like a continuation move through 575 to try it or pull back to maybe, you know, 525 uh, on LPCN. So we'll see. Um, MOSY, a lot of people are watching this name. It's just having trouble here at this 150 uh, orange dotted line here. It cannot get through. We had a high of um, 228. 
the 150 is at uh, two dollars and thirty cents so if it can clear that two dollars and thirty cents uh, we might possibly get a, another move in uh, MOSY uh, MU just because the semiconductors were moving up it's trying to get back above the 10 SMA the 10 SMA is currently at 3125 I think if we can clear that you know you might get a continuation move and uh, in MU uh, NTNX you see it's kind of consolidating here now this one gapped up it had uh, decent earnings it gapped up it's pulled back but it stayed above the 50 SMA the yellow uh, moving average here and now we're starting to turn back up if this can get back over you know say 1845 on the name uh, you know possible continuation so watch that 1845 um, on uh, NTNX RIGL big pop I actually traded this one myself today um, got a nice you know I think it was like a 11 cent move or so on the name um, but you know once then once again now three dollars got in the way so uh, we'll see how this sets up obviously intraday but I think if it can get back over the 200 uh, SMA which is at 279 so we'll call it if it can get back over 283 284 something like that maybe we get a continuation move in RIGL uh, SENS trying to get back over this 50 SMA it's done it before but failed um, this candle looks a little bit better uh, the 50 SMA is at a dollar 54 so maybe a dollar 55 is enough dollar 56 and just be aware that it did hit a dollar 65 and pulled back from there if you do jump in the name uh, 1.8 million shares traded in SENS SGMO starting to turn back up looking for you know the obvious round number eight dollar break or 805 was the high today uh, 1.4 million shares traded we held seven and now we're turning back up so we'll see if we can get above uh, eight dollars on uh, 805 on uh, SGMO uh, SSYS another 3d printer um, and you know trying to crack that 28 spot we had a, the high was 2774 so 2780 uh, might be enough to get this one going maybe it'll travel in sympathy in sympathy to uh, DDD so um, you know both of those will be on watch I think XONE is a, was the other uh, 3d printing company and uh, that one is trying to get back above the 20 SMA uh, but the volume is very light on this name so um, you know, I think there's the other one too, VJet. Let me see how that one's doing. Uh, not so good. So, um, you know, I'll keep an eye on DDD, SSYS. I think those two are the ones, you know, they have the nicest candles on the daily. So I'll keep an eye on these two. And um, I believe that is it for tonight. Um, let's see. And I'm seeing, let me check something out. Um, here before I let you guys go MU. Uh, MU is trading higher in the after hours uh, that's what I okay so MU is moving up a little bit after hours so uh, that's the only other news that just came in on uh, MU all right, so I think that's it. So you have your uh, conference calls for tomorrow. You can go to earningscast.com and you can, you know, look at the times for the conference calls. Uh, the futures are up a tad, uh, 11 on the Dow, 8 on the uh, NASDAQ, uh, close to a point on the um, ES futures. Uh, there's your calendar of events for tomorrow. This API crude oil is probably the most important uh, USO you know broke down through uh, this support and oil I believe closed uh, yeah below 45 still it's at 44 43 testing 44 and then the big test is this $43 on the light sweet crude WTI so uh, you know keep an eye on that we'll see how uh, it fares after the API numbers and I'm just looking to see if there's any other stocks of VSLR I have on my like um, back burner list VSLR um, yeah because this one really you know it's 
really pushed up. So I was looking for maybe a pullback in that one. SPWR, um, check this one out. Not really. And FSLR, these are just some back burner stocks. Uh, not really on that FSLR. Um, anything else? AIRE, another back burner stock, but not looking too good. And I think that's going to M uh, M R I N M R I N. This is a, I think an IPO, right? But I don't know what's going on here. Uh, this looks very strange to me. Um, so I don't know. I'm not interested in it. It's a weird stock. <laughs> that's a weird chart. So I think C E R C is another one of these penny stocks. I, uh, you, you know, you might want to keep an eye on this one. C E R C. Uh, trying to break up over that 60 cents on this name if you like playing those uh, under one dollar stocks So that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate all the support If you like these videos, uh, this has been Zozo Stock Watch. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button Retweet it out on Twitter is always a great help and thank you so much for watching I appreciate it and have a great evening. Good luck trading for June 20th and we'll be back at it with another stocks to watch list tomorrow. So like I say, if you don't like these, um, I'll put a, together another list tomorrow. Uh, the watch list from yesterday, some of them did pretty good. So, um, you know, seem to be finding some swing trades, some day trades and whatnot. So thanks again for participating and leaving good comments and suggestions on the uh, page. If you have any questions like, um, you know, uh, uh, anything you want me to try to do a video on or anything like that, uh, leave a suggestion on the comments and I'll try to, you know, bang out a video about it. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day uh, tomorrow and have a good day trading. Take care.